Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to parameterize connection in mapping. So first understand what is parameter file. So parameter file is list of user defined parameters and their associated values. You can update the values in the parameter file instead of updating values in a task. Means every time you no need to uh, go into the mapping tags and update the values. Instead of that, you can update your values in parameter file directly. The parameter values are applied when the task runs. You can reuse the parameter file across the assets such as mapping task, task flow and the linear task flow. If you want to reuse the parameter file, you can define the local and global parameters within a parameter file. So whenever you download the parameter file template, you will see these use sections, global and project name. So what is the use section? So it tells the data integration that the parameter file contain asset specific parameters. Use this heading as, as the first line of the parameter file that contain the sections. Otherwise, data integration reads only the first global section and ignore all other sections. So in global, you can define the parameters for all the projects, folders, tasks, task flow and the linear task flow. You can also define the project name, folder name and task flow name. So always remember, if a parameter is defined in a task flow section and in a global section, the value in task flow section overrides the global value. So let's start with mapping. We we'll create new mapping. I will take my connection as a source and employee object. So in target, we'll create a runtime target. We'll take the flat file target. Click on create new at runtime. We'll give the file name. Click on save. Now you can see th these three dots click here go to parameter panel here you can define the parameters there are input parameters and in out parameters so now we can click on input parameter we we'll provide the source connection in type you can select the connection and connection type is oracle click on allow parameter to be overridden at runtime why we need to override or uh, check this parameter because if you are giving connection in both mapping tasks and parameter file then it will override and give first priority always to the parameter file and if the parameter file is not present then it will find in mapping tasks click on ok We will create for the target connection that is flat file. You can see here we can create the connection for our object also like source object. You can see here data object. Same for target object. Click on save. Now what we have to do, click on source. Here you have to define the parameter. You can see it is parameters are showing. There are two parameters, source connection, target connection. 
so for source we will do the source connection and for target we will give the target connection in object also you can see click there are a single object and parameter so click on parameter so click select the target object same for source we will do go to parameter here select source object save this now we create mapping tag so it uh, so all the parameters will come up there click on next so you can see here we need to provide the value here so our connection what is our connection source connection is oracle so we will give here our object is employee so we will select from here click on ok click on next same for target flat file target so it is run time Okay, if you want the connection target connection we can give here uh, so a coracle object so we will change the connection here only coracle okay we will do one thing we will change from our mapping is fine we will do one thing we will take any um, target object here we have employee peer ok so you can click here create new time runtime it is available so you can give the name parameter file dot csv no need to change anything click on ok go to next here in runtime options you can see there is a multiple properties we can utilize in the mapping tags like if you want to use or if you want to schedule our tax flow mapping tags then you can schedule from here for now we can see the parameter file location so click on this download the parameter file template so you can see whatever input the parameter we define we can see here so what is our target object that is flat file flat file tgt source connection image connection oracle my source object is employee and my target is param file dot csv we will save this we will copy the path 
you can see here parameter file directory and parameter file name so we copy this parameter file here save this mapping is valid so let's run this mapping fail okay what is that parameter for, for connection parameter target is used parameter file is invalid okay finally oh our target connection is flat file here sorry target connection is flat file tgt and our target object is prm file.csv let's save this now we'll run this So here you can see seven rows affected. The seven in my source affected row is seven. So let's check in target. This is my parameter file. So you can see all the data loaded into my target. Let me show you my source. So you can see there are seven records. So in this way you can do the parameterization and you can use parameter file. So every time you don't need no need to change the uh, values in the mapping tasks because in every environment you can change the, uh, the mapping tasks but not in the production. That is the reason we are using parameter file. So every time we can't touch the uh, environment production environments that's the reason we use the parameter file thank you